first attack of the video and we're up against Fatal and, and he has the ground expo here so that is kind of scary but also tells me I can get a lot of value with the dropship and the battle copter going in right over here should take out everything and then now what do we do after that um I mean once we get that down that's almost all the ground defenses out of the way we could go in with the triple dropship maybe we'll go bring in a cannon cart can we get any good value here no we can't La uh, Mega Tesla is protected. Okay, so I guess the dropships and the Pekkas. Round three, baby. Another video. Um, we could actually, though. What if we bring in the hog lighters? Now that I'm actually thinking about it, um, we could use the giant to tank and test for traps. Battlecopter should be able to take out this huge compartment over here. Why don't we try this out? This this might work quite well. Um, the reason I'm doing this against this base is if you look, there's no crusher. All the double cannons are near the outside. All I really need to worry about are if I'm going to hit any giant bomb slash where all these Teslas are going to be. But as long as I can get down the mega Tesla, I'm feeling pretty confident. Here we go. Using the Battlecopter in now with the dropship that should. I'm going to see if I can get the Battlecopter to fly in there before we take that down like that. Okay, pretty close. That should still be fine. We should take down the roaster. Beautiful. Okay, so roaster's going down. Now it's time for the fun part, which is sending in all the hogs, just like that. Okay, okay. Finding a few more traps than I was hoping to find, but that should be all right. Look at how much tanking we're getting with that giant there. And we're going to save this last hog lighter for the double cannon. Why don't we go send it in now? We do find a giant air bomb, but we get it down. Battlecopter's going in. Now we got to take care of that giant cannon. Can we get that down before we take another hit? I don't think so. Yes, we do. Wait a second. We're about to take this base down with hog lighters. Yes, I haven't gotten a hog lighter attack in what feels like months. This is one of my first attempts at trying them out recently. And yesterday we tried out the minions. Today we're trying out the hog lighters. I don't even want to know what we're going to try out tomorrow. So we're going to get down this first stage pretty easily. Look how many we have left alive. This guy had no chance. And then it's all about the second stage. Let's go use the Battlecopter ability onto the gem mine. Um, and yeah, let's go see what the second stage looks like. I think we lost maybe one hog lighter. So this is feeling pretty good. Let's go see how many do we have. I think... We didn't lose a single hog lighter. What is this insanity? Okay. Um, what should we do? We could we could just send in two giants and the battle machine, and hog lighter should clean up the rest of the base. I'm I am pretty sure that's all we're gonna need. So why don't we go get two giants, battle machine, all the way up at the top? We want them to take out the guard post units, and let's just do that because this should tank for everything. So you ready? Let's go send in battle machine from all the way over here and that should take care of the guard post units and then double giant and then this second stage i think is going to be over with so let's send in our first giant there's a second giant we do find a tesla over there which does hurt um why don't we just go ahead we are not going to be getting down the guard post units the way i wanted to and the fact that that tesla messed up my giant's first shot ability is also going to really hurt us here but we do have four hog gliders still in the bag we did get down one crusher. We should be able to get down the next one. These guard post units, though, I really needed those guard post units down. So that's going to prove to be a pretty big problem. Um, hopefully we can... Let's just go send in the rest of our hogs for the cannon. I would really like to not fail this one because I want to put this in the video. I'll probably still put it in the video if I fail just because it was a cool attack. But um, all we got to do is take down this guard post units and then we get a six star... It's going to be close, though, that, that battle machine going the wrong way and the giant getting the wrong uh, shot, hitting that Tesla really hurt. But even still, it looks like we're going to get a six star here because the hogs split up. There's one working on the gold storage while the others are working with the battle machine. The battle machine is just glowing purple. That's really annoying. There we go. No longer glowing purple. And now we have three hog lighters remaining. This is going to be a six star in our first attack with the hog lighters. I cannot believe that worked. So now this begs the question. Can we do that again? <laughs> are there more bases here that I can absolutely rip through with hog lighters? Because, I mean, this one was, uh, the second stage was a little rough, but the first stage was absolutely free. So, I guess that's what we're doing in today's video, is trying out the hog lighters and hoping for the best. So let's go ahead and get into our next attack. This is going to be a time fail, and this looks like it might be another time fail. Come on, don't do it to me, don't do it to me. Okay, it did it to me. Okay, so we're going to definitely fail here. Giant Cannon is going to kill 
Ah, oh, God. The Crusher is still alive, so it doesn't really look like I can get it. That's about right. That's what I thought. Yep. Okay. Cool. I, I just want to cry. No, we have so much left alive, and it's going to time fail him. Well, it was a good attempt, I think. Kind of. Not really. Oh, excuse me. What? What? Why? On today's new episode of Dropping Trophies to Try and Do Some Cool Content, we're going to be trying to use hog lighters. <sighs> I hate this. All right, we're up against Boba. Okay, um, how do we do this? Um, we should really bring in a giant. We got to get down those guard post units. Um, or do we do double dropship? Maybe double dropship would work better and get the battle copter further into the base. So why don't we do that? Let's go... Start in the battle copter. He's going to get targeted onto the archer, and then that's going to go down. We have all the hog lighters still ready to rumble here. And then the double dropship ideally is going to take out most everything. I don't know for sure how well that's going to work, but we're just going to hope for the best. Um, let's go see what happens here. Um, he's going to go get targeted onto the barbarian probably and go all... Okay, we need a first dropship, and now we're about to need to do the second dropship. Okay. Um, let's go use number two right there, number one right there, boom, bang. And all the skeletons are kind of running in there and doing God's work. Um, dude, wait, we're getting onto the Mega Tesla over here. Wait a second, the double dropship might actually work here. Um, I'm as surprised as you guys are. Don't, well, don't worry, this is, this is not what I thought would actually happen. Okay, so that worked pretty well, I would say. Why don't we now go one, two, and then one, one. Okay, perfect. I love when I find Teslas. Okay, um, that might be fine, though. We should really try and stun this double cannon as soon as possible. Like that, okay, get there. Wait a second. Wait a second. Something's happening. Something's magical is happening. Yes. <laughs> you don't know how long that took. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. I like putting, putting like, oh, this is so strong. It's unbelievably strong. This army is not unbelievably strong. It's unbelievably bad. <laughs> um... But it worked. It worked. Thank you. I got it on my first try. And then I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. And then now I'm kind of regretting this decision to make this video. But hey, it's going to be fun to watch, I think, as long as I don't time fail here. If I time fail here, I, I think I'm ending the video. Um, surely not. Surely not. They can get to that corner in time, right? There's two corner buildings. Um, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. If, if this time fails, I, I will quit. I will resign. I will leave the creator program. I'll cry and it doesn't time fail. Thank you so much. Now we're on to the next stage. Oh boy. How do I do this? Um, double cannon card from the top takes out the double cannon and maybe the crusher and all the zappies. There's no guard post units to worry about here. We do need to worry about another crusher down at the very bottom though. So do we go with a double giant yet again? I mean, considering we don't have to worry about any, any guard post units, this might be a good move. And then we just send in all the hog lighters just to take out the double cannon, but that's not going to really clean up that well. Um, I'd really love to get a cannon cart over here, but that's so hard to do. You can take out the cannon here with the cannon cart, but it is like one of the hardest maneuvers to pull off. So what else do we do? We could use double cannon cart, takes out a lot. Okay, uh, I guess I got to go with a double cart here. Um, I'm just going to hope for the best. Start two up there. Battle machine, he can go from the very top, take out two corner buildings, and then I don't really know how I'm going to finish this one off, but... I think the trick here is just hoping for the, okay, a Tesla. I love finding Teslas. Let's just go hope for the best. Um, number eight is going to get targeted really quickly. So let's just go like, see if we can take out, okay, I think this might splash onto the zappies. Perfect. That was a perfect maneuver. I am so ha glad that actually worked. Um, okay, now we're going to take out the gold storage. We should really start in the battle machine now. Thankfully, we do have both our cannon carts alive. I would really love to get down that crusher. If I don't get down that crusher, I think I'm just going to probably cry and quit. But um, I think we do. So we got to send in Battle Machine is going in. He's going to tank for the multi-mortar and all the hog lighters here in a second. We need to leave probably one hog lighter for this very corner building, though. Okay, we're sending in the cannon carts now. Hopefully, they're going to go take out that crusher pretty quickly. Battle Machine, don't go for that wall. What are you doing? Okay, let's just go start in one hog lighter onto the cannon, I guess. We do find some traps. Um, pause the cannon carts. Let's go see if we can get them to go a better direction. That's good. Um, let's go use Battle Machine ability right there. And now all we got to do is take down the rest of the base. And wait a second. Wait a minute. It actually worked. <laughs> 
first try, guys. Trust me. Don't don't look at my battle log. Don't look at anything. Just trust me when I tell you this. This is my first try with this attack. Second try, I mean, with my attack strategy here. Um, wait a second. How am I going to get down that crusher? This is going to be bad. Um, oh, boy. Okay, cannon cards. So you guys got to work fast because we're about to take so much damage. Oh, oh, wasn't even worried for a second. We take down the crusher and we get the six star with the hog lighters. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> This was such a hard strategy. All right, we're up against Lexa, and how do we do this? Um, oh boy, um, we we should probably not bring in as many hog gliders here. Uh, if we can kit down Archer Tower double cannon slash roaster, that would be pretty huge. And then we need to get down the Crusher slash the giant cannon too. We could take down the giant cannon maybe just with. Um, cannon carts. I don't know. I think that might go in range of the lava launcher though. But if we do it perfectly, it might just work and then that would take down a good amount. And then maybe we'll bring in one battle uh, dropship, sorry. And that would be maybe enough to make this work. I don't know. This is this is probably one of the worst ideas I've had in a while, but let's just go see what what happens. Trying to use hog gliders in this meta is absolutely like terrible. <laughs> it it's so bad because everyone has crushers and double cannons on every base, and Teslas and Teslas are probably like the hog gliders' worst enemy. But um, even still, we are going to be trying to see if we can pull this off. Let's go see if we can stun up the giant cannon. We don't find too many traps. Um, okay. I think that might not be in range of the Lava Launcher. Don't quote me on that. We do get that down. Lava Launcher, if you're going to do something, do it now, or else don't do it at all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lava Launcher. That means a whole lot to me. Okay, so now we got that down. So there goes the Crusher, and now it's just up to the Mega Tesla. Um, we're sending in the Battle Copter now with the uh, Dropship. Let's go use the ability like that. And then we do find a Tesla, but that might not be a big deal. Let's go see. We take down the roaster. Can we get down that Tesla? We really would like to get down the Tesla. And now, actually, there's not a whole lot I have to worry about. If we can get down... Wait, did we get all the Teslas yet? Or is there still one hiding from me? There was still one hiding from me, and it's attacking my cannon cards. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, That's maybe all right. Let's go one, two, one, two. And then we only have one hog lighter left. So let's go just stun up the lowered archer tower. Um... Okay, wait, we're going... Oh, 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 something's happening. Something's happening. Wait a second. We did it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Okay. Um, that actually worked. I cannot believe that. That plan, I'm not going to say it was insane, but it definitely wasn't smart. But it actually worked, and this one's quite overkill. We have two cannon carts and a lot of hog gliders. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go see what we can do in the second stage. Um, uh, uh, I don't know about this. Uh, let's see. One giant over here, and that'll distract everything. Then we do another giant over here. That might distract everything. And then we just hope for the best and pray. Or actually, we could just take down, we could just take down the double cannons. That's probably the smarter decision. Let's just, how about we do that first before we start praying? Um, let's go see. We should be able to snipe the double cannon immediately. And then we do still have two giants. I probably don't need that many now that I'm really looking at it. But let's think. We send in the battle machine just really anywhere. Wait, this is going to be really overkill. Okay. Let's go take out the double cannon. Perfect. And then what I think the best move is now is to send in the battle machine. A giant on the crusher and then a giant onto the wall to distract both the cannons. And that should get it. Okay, let's go one, and then one, and then all the hog gliders are going to run in there. Let's go see if they'll do what I need. We are using the giant ability now. Just a tank for everything. We can send both the cannon carts in. And boy, this this working. It's actually working. It actually worked. It actually worked. I did it. Okay, there's a Tesla popping up. I don't really like the looks of that, but we have the maxed battle machine ability here. That should take that out. We can use the giant ability, not because we need to, but just because we can. And that is going to be a six star with the hog gliders and the giants and the dropships and the candy carts. And oh my goodness, I like this strategy. I can't believe that worked, but it actually did. I should have been using this from the start. Okay, cool. Take that down. Boom. So if you guys remember yesterday's video, I was number one in the United States and number 19 in the world. And now that we've used this amazing new attack strategy, we have found ourselves at number 81 in the world and number eight in the United States. I would not recommend this one.